Namaste, friends. Welcome to Yoga Bliss with Shelly, and I'm Shelly. Today's practice is humble shoulders and upper back yoga. For this practice, grab a scarf, joop, joop, or you can also use a belt, or if you have a lovely strap, you can also do that. Today, we are going to focus on the lumbar, the midsection of the spine, and giving the shoulders some love in this upper back. So grab yourself a blanket for your comfort to protect those joints, a pillow in case you want to modify anything, unroll the mats, unpeel the edges, and Joy and I say, let's do this because it's snowing in October in Colorado, a snow day. Woo, cray cray, namaste. Welcome my beautiful friends to this humble upper back and shoulder yoga practice today. Joining me in your Sukhasana, that crisscross applesauce. And if you have that couch pillow or a meditation cushion or a blanket, I encourage you to sit on that and just find your comfortable seat here. Set yourself up for success by moving the pans. If you wear glasses, you can take those off. And allow yourself just to be, you can take that strap and just kind of set it off to the side or scarf or belt, whatever it is. And allowing your hands to simply root into the knees. So depending on where you're feeling in your body, if you're feeling, if you're having a lot of inner turmoil, maybe putting your hands more down and you can choose a mudra. The Guyana mudra is a great one that I use all the time. It's just the thumb and the pointer finger in a circle. And it's just helping us root into the moment. Or if you're feeling a little bit more open and free, I went and saw Deepak Chopra last night at the Mile High Church in Denver. And it was super awesome. And I kept off and on sitting the whole time with my hands like this. I was just absorbing all the good vibes from Deepak and this amazing spiritual church and all the people. So knowing that you can use these mudras anytime. So finding that space within your yourself and allowing yourself to just settle as you feel yourself here supported by the earth. And maybe I have my puppy, he's licking my hand and allowing yourself just to connect with yourself. As you know that we are all these physical beings. So bringing your awareness to the, the senses feeling the brush of the clothes on the skin, feeling any cricks or pops or aches or tightness in the body. Maybe just feeling what it feels like in the hands, feeling what it feels like in the jaw. If you wanna open and just side to side, move the jaw. Maybe even sticking the tongue out. And just allowing yourself just to feel what it feels like in this physical body. And if you have a stuffy nose, you can bring a big breath in through the mouth. If you are free in the nose space, bringing in a breath in through the nose, rushing down the throat, filling up that heart center and allowing yourself to let it go. Breathing in a breath all the way down the throat radiating and filling up the ribs, expanding at the intercostal muscles, that webbing between the ribs, and decompressing. And flowing with your breath five times. And bringing the word humble into the equation. As you bring the breath in, say humble. Exhale, humble. And for me, it felt good to inhale, humble three times and exhale, humble four times. So giving that a try. Humble, humble, humble on the inhale. Exhale, humble, humble, humble. Now inhaling, I am humble. I am humble. I am humble. 
exhaling, I am humbled, I am humbled, I am humbled. Breathing in three humble breaths. Exhaling four humble breaths. And just gently tucking at the chin and bringing the awareness to the heart space. And maybe noticing the sensation as an audible sound, a bum bum, bum bum, bum bum. Maybe you can feel it within your chest. Or maybe you can move the blood flow into the hands, opening up the hands and allowing this energy to flow into the hands. And just bringing this space here and giving time and attention and going within and allowing all the feelings and all the thoughts and emotions and becoming the noticer of thoughts, feelings and emotions. And by noticing the beat of the heart, by using the help, help of pranayama, of breath and life force, we can become this noticer being the awareness of ourself. And letting it go and just checking in with yourself and where you are in your where you are in your body where it's feeling heavy where it's feeling light or tight just noticing and not judging maybe there's thoughts painful thoughts coming in and just noticing almost envisioning a light shining behind you and you just taking a step back and just watching yourself. Wonderful work, noticer. You are the noticer. And gently floating the hands, rising up. Palms kissing palms above the top of the head. Exhaling, bringing the hands to that heart center. And setting an intention for yourself today. Creating a declaration for yourself. Something that you know that you need today. I will share mine with you. My inner world creates my outer world. I'm gonna say that three times. My inner world creates my outer world. My inner world creates my outer world. And whether that intention resonates with you or you grab onto your own, just envisioning a light swirling around you, and then sending that intention out into the universe and gently batting those eyelashes open. Good job, my friends. And feeling what it feels like in the hands and the feet. And now, my friends, moving on to our shoulders and our upper body, our upper back. So I have just this lovely scarf that is this cozy scarf. And mine is a little stretchy. It doesn't have to all look the same. I've even done this with uh, a blanket. So you can do this practice with whatever it is that you have. And if it feels good, you could stay in your Sukhasana. Or if you're feeling like maybe you want something a little bit deeper in the hips, you can come to Baha Konasana, the butterfly, which is just soles of the feet, touching the soles of the feet. And if you're feeling uh, like pretty tight in the hamstrings, knowing it's okay and not trying to force and knowing wherever you are on your mat, in your body, it's okay, and I want you to listen intuitively to your body. So if there's ever anything that is not feeling good, listen to yourself, not to me, and guide yourself into what feels best for you. So just finding that seat that works best for you and grabbing that scarf or belt or strap, whatever it is, about three feet apart, activating through the core by bringing that navel back towards the spine, creating a long line of energy that shoots up from the sit bones, up through all of the spine from the, the lumbar to the thoracic. The lumbar is the lower section. The thoracic is that midsection, all the way up to the cervical vertebrae, all the way up to the shoulders. Inhaling with the breath 
and creating a little bit of a light tension for yourself. So this is one of those things where we can be loose and, and lazy or we're gonna be mindful with our shoulders and our upper back. So coursing that core strength, humbly tucking the chin because today we are humble, we are down to earth, we are all the same. It doesn't matter who you are, where you are, we are all the same people, my friends, whether you perceive yourself as someone who is poor, middle class, or wealthy, we're all the same inside. Creating this tension and just gently bending the elbows, like a curl almost, and bringing the arms towards you, but palms facing up. Exhaling straight down horizontally. Inhale, curling up, keeping the palms facing out. Exhaling it down. Inhale, raising it up. Exhaling it down, bringing the awareness into the biceps as you curl it up and feeling what it feels like in the shoulders, activating through the muscles in the shoulders and through that thoracic lumbar or that thoracic spine, which is that midsection of the spine. Again, we can be loosey-goosey or we can engage through the core as we lift up, exhaling straight forward. Inhaling and twisting the body and creating a little resistance and the resistance is up to you And if you want to go a little bit closer if that feels better feel it out or if it feels better to go a little further out Just try it out inhale twisting to the Left hand side as we twist we're just gently wringing out our spine here just cleansing out detoxifying all the yuck that's inside, doing an inside flush and feeling this in that spine, in that midsection, that thoracic. And not trying to compromise the integrity of the spine by going too far. You can gently peek to the short edge of the mat or peek over that left hand and shoulder. Big breath in, let it go, coming back to center and maybe just gently rolling out the shoulders for a minute here and readjusting yourself and again creating that tension that resistance between your hands exhale twisting to the right side and noticing that it's going to feel different in each side in each shoulder and if your shoulders are only allowing you to bend give your shoulders a little your elbows a little bit of a bend i have a really deep a really near and dear friend who's like a soul mama who had a shoulder replacement and I have journeyed with her through her injury and dislocating her shoulder and then watching her heal through this process. And it's been incredible and knowing that you have to be humble and love and treat your shoulders kindly because they do so much for us. Exhaling long, coming back to neutral. And just here, inhaling, raising the shoulders up towards the ears and just giving love to that ball and socket joint that does so much. There's all these tendons and nerves and there's so much connective tissue. There's so many things happening right here between that midsection of the, the spine and the shoulders, rolling those shoulders up towards the ears and back. And again, listening to what feels good to your body. Pausing in the middle, inhale, raising and circling towards the screen. And each time, just connecting that breath to that movement and maybe tuning back into that intention that my inner world creates my outer world. And a question that one of my spiritual mentors, Wayne Dyer asked was, would I want this thought that I'm thinking to come true? Hmm, good question, right? If the answer is no, choose a new thought. So if you're having a self-limiting belief, if that inner critic, the ego is saying something cruel and unkind to you, choose a new thought, say the opposite of what it says. If it says I'm stupid, I'm smart. If it's saying I'm not good enough, I'm good enough. Exhaling arms long and strong and you can just leave that scarf or that strap down. Exhaling, crossing that left arm over the right and coming up and grabbing the back of the arm. You can either keep this long and strong, creating some Shakti, some energy with those fingers by opening them up or you can reach that arm around and hug that shoulder and give yourself a little huggy here. And by gently with the right hand, just gently pulling on the back of the bicep, bringing just at that base of the elbow in towards that body as you course at that core strength and, and letting that go. And knowing that stretching 
is just as effective as doing these crazy like high intensity workouts or I know my husband does a lot of weight training and I do some with him but sometimes we have to slow it down and we have to give love to our connective tissue because when we are doing all that heavy weight training what's happening is it's ripping and ripping and tearing our muscles and then when we can rest and heal ourselves or rest and that's when we can heal and build that muscle that we want to build right because I've been into CrossFit and boxing like hardcore and know that we have to still nurture ourselves exhaling that arm out woo, and just giving that joint a little love inhaling that same arm and bending that left arm down the spine and with the right hand grabbing the elbow and reaching that back towards you these were some of like the foundational stretches I always remember doing in in middle school and high school physical education my dad is a PE teacher and so these just like always stick with me and with that left hand giving yourself a pat a, just a gentle pat on the back and saying I'm doing a good job no matter what that ego is trying to tell you I am doing a good job showing up for me good job really feeling that stretch you can feel it all the way through the armpit radiating up the back of the bicep big breath in letting that go exhaling those arms down to the earth and maybe just pressing the hands starfish hands into the earth and growing and if you had your feet like in a lotus or one foot was forward and the other was back just switch them so just give your feet a little bit of a, a change in in scenery exhaling those arms long and strong strong right hand crosses over the midsection you can leave it long and strong or you can give yourself that nice hug and with that left hand bringing that elbow back towards the ear it's so funny mirroring sometimes my brain gets so confused and I have to my mirroring is obviously the opposite of you so but really in my mind it's my left is my right my right is my left I just had to learn that and it's really funny what that inner voice does it tries to be like no you're saying it wrong but I'll think of it and I'm like what is that good job we're doing a good job big breath in <sighs> exhaling it out big breath in deepening at that fascia that webbing of muscles that just whoosh, it connects everything together it's like this casing over our muscles almost like this just wonderful casing that houses and holds everything and exhaling those arms long horizontal inhale raising allowing that right hand to bend back and allowing the hands to reach the back of the back and giving yourself a nice pat on the back and I'm gonna turn around because I want you to pat yourself and see me patting myself so we are just patting ourselves on the back my friend we are working with this beautiful back and give yourself a pat and telling yourself whatever it is that you need to hear right now I'm smart enough I'm good I'm doing amazing and just patting yourself on the back exhaling those arms long see giving a pat is so loverly loverly exhaling coming onto the knees let's move those legs on and my sweet little puppy joy joy -o. Blanket. Joy is getting cozy. Here, buddy. Here, you can lay here. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. There. And we're going to grab our blanket because in yoga we always want to have what? Healthy joints. Healthy joints make happy joints, right? So we're just going to grab our blanket and get getting on our knees from here and just posting up on the feet and seeing if this works for your feet or not. You can also release the feet back if you practiced with us when we did the feet yoga this can also help stretch out those feet and you can touch the big toes together and opening up wide through the sit bones and from here inhale raising up those hands up high to the sky and just gently opening up that span of those arms exhaling and bending on the back on the back body inhale raising it up exhale so this is almost like a trap pull that you would do if you were lifting weights so you're just gonna pull exhale squeezing the shoulder blades together and working the elbows towards the elbows and squeezing here pausing a humble moment big breath in and letting it sink holding it and feeling the expansion in the front body and the compression in the back body inhale raising it up exhale to sink it out 
and just tuning into what it feels like in your feet. If you want to sit back, if that feels good, inhale, raising it up, exhale, sinking. And from here, as you open up that body, if you can, this just depends on the mobility of, of the elbow joint in the body. So you can stay here or you can just slowly try to open that joint up just one more time, just by opening it up. I think this is called external rotation. Yes, because you're externally rotating it away from you. And same with the opposite side. So you can just drop and open the scarf up wide and externally rotating, really opening up the heart and feeling that squeeze in that spine, in the shoulders, big breath in, and letting that sink. Wonderful work, big breath into that body, letting that go, and just gently internally rotating one elbow back towards that midsection opposite side. Inhale, raising that up high and repeating this one more time. Exhale, pulling those traps together, externally rotating that right and then the left, opening up that heart, shining the light. If it feels good to be up on your knees, I know it feels good for me. I've been driving kids to and from school in the car on a snowy day for a really long time, so I wanna get off of my booty. But if it feels good to be on your sit bones, go for it. Big breath in as you squeeze those shoulder blades together, opening up that heart. Big breath in and letting that go. And from here, internally rotating while you keep the one side down. So keeping your, which side are we on? We're on your right and bringing that left up. So opening up that body and peeking up if you can. And still here, just feeling this in the shoulders. If you need to keep a bend, that's okay. If, you're, if you need to keep them bent and together, again, tuning into what feels good with your body. Exhale if you can, hinging forward at the hips. Pausing here, a peaceful moment. Letting that go. Creating a little gentle, gentle bend to the elbows. Exhale, raising that up. Inhaling back to center. Exhaling, bending at those elbows again for that little trap pull. Externally rotating that left elbow down while you're keeping the right one up. And this is not a one size fits all, so tuning into what feels good for you. For me, it feels good to make this like lovely diagonal line in the body. So feeling that different stretch in the shoulders. If it feels good, you can give yourself a little twist. That's what is feeling good for me, given that thoracic lumbar a little bing, a little extra love but knowing when you are moving one space of the spine it's kind of hard to hold the other one still unless you're keeping your pelvis very still you can hold that uh that thoracic or the lumbar still the lumbar is the booty the booty vertebrae exhaling pausing at neutral hinging those hips forward opening up that body Opening those shoulders and the front body and the back body. You're doing so good, my friends. Woo! And if it's feeling funky in your shoulder, you can just back off a little bit. You can even bend at the elbow if that, if that is what is working for you. Big breath into that humble heart. And letting that go. Inhale, raising it up, my friends. Woo! Exhaling. And allowing your scarf or your belt just to drape over the shoulders. And finding ourselves in a half of a mountain here on our knees. So our peaceful mountain as we ground our knees into the earth. And we find that alignment with our knees rooted into the earth. And if you don't have that blanket, I strongly encourage you to get that blanket under those knees. And just tracking back the hind feet and tuning into the pelvis as you tone through the core, all the way up, all of those lumbar, all the lumbar spine, all the way through the thoracic, the midsection, all the way to the cervical spine. And just feeling what it feels like in the shoulders, in the hands, maybe it's feeling a little warm, maybe you're not sure what it's feeling like, just tuning into that body. My friends, wonderful work here, big breath into that humble heart and letting that go. And from here, my friends, diving forward into a a tabletop position, scooching that puppy out of the way, coming from that tabletop position, creating big, wide open starfish hands. Starfish hands from here, 
and allowing the hands to kind of slide forward. So just taking the hands as far forward as you can. And I'm gonna move my blanket back because I need a little extra space. So bringing that blanket back to whatever it is that you need and sliding those hands forward. And you can stay hovered up on the hands, big wide open starfish hand, or you can allow the elbows to engage into the earth, creating an active wide open starfish hand and sinking that heart back down to the earth for a happy puppy, maybe wagging that tail. Feeling this lovely stretch in the shoulders, in the upper back, and giving love, even giving a little love to the hips, and maybe feeling a little burn. And if you want something that's a little extra burny, you can stay hovered up on the hands, activating through the core. Or if this happy puppy down on the earth feels good, you just happy puppy it out, my friends. Wonderful work, big breath into that heart center. And maybe if you're feeling a little shake, my shoulders are feeling a little shaky right now. Giving all these attention to the shoulders, they're like, woo, my shoulders are barking, right? Big breath in as we pause here. Giving all this humble love and attention to the shoulders and letting that go. And gently walking those hands up, creating that big wide open starfish hands, posting up on the hind feet. Actually, I'm gonna move the blanket out of the way. So just gently folding the blanket. And again, I have a, this puppy keeps falling asleep on me. Oh, joy. Letting it get cozy. And coming in with, for those big, wide open starfish hands, posting up onto the, the feet and rolling out at the elbows and really bringing the awareness into the shoulders and the upper back as you peel and push those sit bones up high to the sky. And really finding that balance between not all the weight in the hand and pushing the weight up through the sit bones to open up through the front body and peel open those shoulders. And walking out the feet here, and just pedaling here, giving a little love to those feet because hello feet, we practiced that yoga for feet, which was such a fun video for me. I really enjoyed doing that. So I hope you've been giving lots of love to your feet. Now it's time to move into the shoulders, my friend. And just gently walking, choo, slow and mindfully, bent at the elbows, walking those hands back to the feet, back to the feet, and allowing those shoulders to just lay limp and heavy. And just let them be here. And just let it go, let it go. Right, like Elsa from Frozen. We watched that movie plenty of times. Now that it's getting cold and snowy, I'm sure we will tune into more. Exhaling and just slowly peeling that spine. And once you get about more than halfway, just gently, and you can even take those hands and, and work them on that back. Ooh, and however it feels on that spine. I know my spine has been a little funky monkey monkey lately. And bringing yourself all the way up to standing. And now that you have arrived, inhale, raising those shoulders, squeezing those shoulder blades together and opening up that heart light and envisioning the light of the sun and allowing it to radiate throughout your heart. And today, I encourage you that wherever you are, whatever you are doing to raise your shoulders back, raise your heart light up and allow yourself to be confident in who you are and how you hold and carry your body. From here, stepping that left foot forward. As you step that left foot forward, allowing the toes of the right foot to face the short edge of the mat. Gentle bend to the knee and just tuning into your body and what feels good. So setting yourself all this talk about snow, like you're on a set of skis. I'm not a huge skier, even though I'm from Colorado, but my family is, and I enjoy it because they enjoy it. Really rooting into that front foot and aligning the ankle over the knee, being aware if the knee is trying to drop in or out. Really rooting those four points of the feet in the front and the hind, in the front and the back. And because we are doing this humble practice, we must do the humble warrior, my friends. So as we root and press that knee, not into the knees, we press into the heel, tracking up and bringing that weight, not all into the feet, but into the core, into the glutes, bringing that weight, streaming all the way up from the sit bones up high to the sky, 
And if you want to peek down, you just want to see the big toe. You, I mean, if you have to stay up here, that's okay, but the, you want to make sure you peek that toe. Gently bending this hind leg, exhaling, keeping those hips as far forward as your body will allow you. Exhaling those shoulders, flying them back. This is the first option, my friends, for your humble warrior. You can humbly fly, hinging forward at the heart tier. And if this is all that you can go for your humble warrior, this is okay. We can also grab our lovely scarf here and just exhaling it behind that body and just grab. So just palms of the palms facing back, kind of near the booty of the sit bones, opening up that heart, squeezing the shoulder blades together, exhaling, bringing those arms back, but soft bend. Humbly tucking the chin here and knowing that wherever you are in your humble warrior, if you can bring the crown of the head and humbly bow to yourself and saying, I am humble to myself. I am humble to myself. I am just as deserving and just as worthy of love and wealth and health and happiness as anyone in the whole universe. I am just as good and deserving of health, wealth, and happiness as anyone in the universe. Big breath in as we pause here. Exhaling it out. Big breath, pausing here, trying not to break out of this pose and just humbly surrendering. Letting that go, gently hinging up at the back of the heart. Feeling that burn in that leg. Woo, my friends, it feels good. Exhaling, bringing both feet facing the long edge of the mat. Boop, and we're just gonna rearrange the feet here. So rearranging the foot and bringing that left foot, pointing the short edge of the mat, and just opening up that foot and bringing the rear foot facing the corner of the mat. So really opening up and rooting through those feet, finding that stance, that position that works best for you, bringing those hips forward, scanning up through the feet, bringing that weight into the glutes, in the core as equally as you are into the feet. Exhaling that scarf or that strap, or if you need to fly back, you can also do a wide fly if that works best for you. Opening up that heart here, shining that heart light, finding confidence in yourself. Exhale, hinging at the hips. Soft bend to that high knee. Exhale, hinging, finding that humble warrior that best suits you. And repeating, I am worthy of all of the love and the light and the light. universe has to offer. I am worthy of love. I am worthy of health. I am worthy of happiness. I am worthy of everything I've ever desired. Humble breath into that heart center. Exhaling it out. I am humble to myself. Big breath in, pausing here. Exhaling it out. I am worthy of love. I am worthy of abundance. I am worthy of wealth. I am worthy of all of my desires and dreams to come true. Big breath in. Exhaling it out. Hinging with the back of the heart up. Ooh, and slowly bringing both feet facing the long edge of the mat. And just gently from here, walking those feet out a little bit. And if it feels good, you can just gently take that strap, soft bend to the legs and just wing it from side to side, just tuning into the shoulders in that midsection of the spine. Exhaling it, feeling warm in the heart space, feeling humble. Allow yourself to do declarations. I've recently been reading and listening to this amazing, incredible book called The Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. And it talks about affirmations versus declarations. Affirmations are goals we wish to come true declarations are when we touch a certain part of our body with my inner world i create my outer world and when we say a declaration and we hold it true like to our heart or to our head our third eye we are declaring this intention to be true that it's already true so let's declare with power that we are awesome and amazing exhale hinging forward at the hips Gentle bend to the knees, hinging forward here, allowing that head to hang forward, allowing the arms to hang forward here, and just pausing a moment. And whatever this looks like for you, if you
you want to skate your legs down. I kind of like to do this inhale, kind of skate and getting on my heels. So whatever it looks like for you, coming down to the mat. So if you can you follow my lead, you're just kind of coming to that froggy, to that gorilla. And when you can come down, you can bring one knee down. Ta-da! And then you pop into the next. So not disrupting our little pumpkin joy who is just real cozy. I'm gonna take a little bit of the blankie and bring that blankie back to the mat, my friends. And from here, setting in for a wide open starfish hand. Exhaling the right hand down to the earth. Inhale, raising through the core, left hand. Exhale, threading that through that hole and allowing the arm to settle through. Option to keep one hand up high. Option to bind and extra work that shoulder. Big breath into the heart center. Exhaling through the back body. Long, slow breath in. Letting it go. Big breath, my friends. Releasing it out to the universe. And breathing in that beautiful breath with that declaration of with my inner world, I create my outer world. Just in this moment, being aware of your feelings, of the thoughts. And if the thought you are not thinking, if you do not want it to come true, pick a new positive thought for yourself. Big breath in and letting that go. And if that arm is binded, slowly unbind that arm, rolling out the wrist, planting that into the earth. Inhale, unhinging, the arm raising it high to the sky, planting into the earth, big wide open starfish hand, coursing that core strength with the opposite arm. Inhale, raising that up high. Exhale, threading through, allowing that arm to relax. And knowing that this pose is not here to hurt you. I know I've had students that say that it hurts in their neck and their head. It's supposed to be more of a relaxation. And I was just gonna say though, if you have had a shoulder injury, like my beautiful friend, Rosie, that this might not be possible for you. I was just thinking of that. So do something that feels good for you, even if it's just like a child's pose. Take a child's pose and hinge forward. But if you are allowed, able to, then you can do this. But if not, there is no injuries here where there is only healthy bodies, my friends. So pausing here and just allowing that self to simply be with your big breath in and letting that go. And knowing that you are worthy of love, you are worth, worthy of success, you are worthy of health, you are worthy of money and wealth. You are worthy of everything you have ever desired. With our new declarations, we can choose to change the thoughts we were thinking and choose new positive thoughts. Exhaling that hand down into the earth, inhale, unthreading that needle, coming in for the end, our final pose, big toes touching, big toes, opening up those hips wide, sinking those sit bones back. And again, you can always modify this, friends. You know me, I am the modifier, I am the proper. You can use a prop under here. You can sink that heart forward, allowing those arms to lay long onto the earth. Or if you're feeling like you want a little bit more support, you can get that support. So I'm feeling, I just wanna have my body today. So you can allow those arms to lay long and forward or you can tuck them back. So tuning into what feels good for you, forehead facing the mat. Allowing yourself just to rest and just to be here. And bringing that love and that awareness into those shoulders and that upper body, that upper back. And envisioning a light, a warm light, or maybe it's a, a flutter of snow, like a big snow burst, just surrounding yourself. And breathing in that big breath in and letting it sink. And coming back to that intention that you set for yourself, what you set for your practice today. 
but with my inner world, I create my outer world. And knowing, my friends, that we can choose, when we can choose to show up on the mat, we can choose to show up off of the mat and, and be better versions of ourselves. So today, my friends, allow yourself to be humble to yourself and to know that you are worthy of all that your heart desires. And with the help of these new ways of thinking, we can help shift our subconscious programming and we can truly live the lives of our dreams. We can truly be this yoga bliss, these feelings of just eternal light and love and laughter and health and all the good. Big breath into that back body and letting that go. And I'm so grateful for you, my friends. And if this feels good for your body, you can complete here. Or you are always welcome to find yourself onto your back and complete this practice in Shavasana, the pose of surrender, of letting everything go. I'm so grateful for you. I love you so much. And if you can, you can just bring those hands forward in front of you and do palms kissing palms and rising them above the back of the head for shark fin numbs and, <laughs> and acknowledging all the good in you and all the love and the light. Namaste, friends. I'm so grateful for you and thumbs us up, share and subscribe to this channel. Mm -hmm. So much love, my friends.